Hi, welcome to the lecture seven of chemical energetics. Today we are going to study thermodynamic processes. Now, what is mean by thermodynamic processes? When a thermodynamic system changes from one state to another, the operation is called as a process. These processes involve the change of conditions like temperature, pressure, and volume. Okay, now see. Suppose uh, if we have a beaker which is filled with a water. Now, if we heat that beaker up to the boiling point of water, the water which is initially in the liquid state get vaporized. So, water goes from liquid state to vapor state. So, a thermodynamic system here water changes from one state. that is from liquid state to another that is vapor so that operation the heating of water up to its boiling point is the operation which is called as a process okay so uh, for process to bring out we have to change temperature or pressure or volume there are various types of thermodynamic processes first one is the isothermal processes in this case the processes in which the temperature remains fixed are termed as isothermal processes and this is often achieved by placing the system in a thermostat thermostat means a constant temperature bath so in constant temperature bath there is a no change in temperature it means that temperature remains fixed so for an isothermal process the change in temperature which is denoted by dt what is dt dt is the change in temperature suppose initial temperature is t1 and final temperature is t2 so t2 minus t1 that difference is denoted by dt and as in case of isothermal process temperature remains fixed it means it means that uh, t1 and t2 is same there is no temp no change in temperature so that dt is equal to 0 for an isothermal process dt is equal to 0 now second type adiabatic processes those processes in which no heat can flow into or out of the system are called adiabatic processes now this adiabatic conditions can be approached by carrying the process in an insulated container such as thermos bottle so we know thermos in case of thermos uh, heat cannot flow into the system or out of the system okay heat cannot enter into that thermos flask or cannot get out from that thermos flask so that change or that process is a adiabatic process high vacuum and highly polished surfaces help to achieve thermal insulation and for an adiabatic process dq is equal to 0 now what is mean by dq here dq is the change in heat if q1 is the initial heat and q2 is the final heat then that q2 minus q1 it is dq which is a difference that dq in this case is a zero why zero because no heat can flow into or out of the system so this is adiabatic process now third one is isobaric process those processes which take place at constant pressure are called isobaric processes those processes which take place at constant pressure there is a no change in pressure for example see heating of water to its boiling point and its vaporization take place at the atmospheric pressure so as i have said in earlier slide that uh, we have a beaker uh, containing water when we heat that water up to its boiling point that water which is in liquid state get vaporized so water which was in a liquid state now it get vaporized and goes into the vapor state so in this heating there is a no change in pressure the pressure before heating the water and after heating the water it same so that heating of water is isobaric process okay these changes are therefore designated as isobaric process and are said to take place 
आइसोबारिकली एंड फॉर एन आइसोबारिक प्रोसेस डी पी इज इक्वल टू जीरो ना व्हाट इज डी पी डी पी इज चेंज इन प्रेशर सो इनिशियल प्रेशर इज पी वन फाइनल प्रेशर इज पी टू एंड एट देर इज ए नो चेंज इन प्रेशर तो पी टू माइनस पी वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड पी टू माइनस पी वन इज डेजिग्नेटेड बाय डी पी सो डी पी इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो दैट प्रोसेस इज ए आइसो इज एन आइसोबारिक प्रोसेस सी दिस प्रेशर वॉल्यूम ग्राफ सो इन दिस केस दिस लाइन वेयर प्रेशर इज कॉन्स्टंट सो इट डिस्क्राइब्स आइसोबारिक प्रोसेस देन इन आइसोथर्मल प्रोसेस वी नो दैट टेम्परेचर रिमेन्स फिक्स्ड सो एज टेम्परेचर रिमेन्स फिक्स्ड देयर कैन बी चेंज इन प्रेशर एंड वॉल्यूम सो द कर ऑप्टेन एज लाइक दिस इन एडियाबैटिक चेंज अगेन हीट कैनॉट फ्लो इन टू आर आउट ऑफ द सिस्टीम बट देयर कैन बी ए चेंज इन प्रेशर एंड वॉल्यूम सो दिस कर इज ऑफ ए एडियाबैटिक प्रोसेस एंड दिस इज अबाउट आइसोकोरिक प्रोसेस ना व्हाट इज आइसोकोरिक प्रोसेस द प्रोसेसेस इन विच द वॉल्यूम रिमेन्स कॉन्स्टंट आर नोन एज आइसोकोरिक प्रोसेस द हिटिंग ऑफ ए सब्सटन्स इन ए नॉन एक्सपांडिंग चेंबर इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ आइसोकोरिक प्रोसेस वॉट इज द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ आइसोकोरिक प्रोसेस द हिटिंग ऑफ ए सब्सटन्स इन ए नॉन एक्सपांडिंग चेंबर सपोज इफ वी हैव अ चेंबर विच इज नॉन एक्सपांडिंग इट मीन्स दैट बिफोर हिटिंग एंड आफ्टर हिटिंग सो वेन वी हिट इन ई सपोज गैस देर इज ए नो एक्सपांशन टेक प्लेस सो एज देर इज नो एक्सपांशन वॉल्यूम रिमेन्स सेम सो सच अ टाइप ऑफ प्रोसेस इज कॉल्ड एज आइसोकोरिक प्रोसेस and for that dv is equal to zero dv is the change in volume v1 is the initial volume v2 is the final volume v2 minus v1 that is dv dv is equal to zero so in this graph the isochoric process is shown by this line where uh, volume remains constant okay so this is about the four uh, main uh, thermodynamic processes and fifth one is the सी साइक्लिक प्रोसेस सो एज इट्स नेम सजेस्ट इट इज साइक्लिक वेन अ सिस्टीम इन ए गिवन स्टेट गोज थ्रू ए नंबर ऑफ डिफरंट प्रोसेसेस एंड फाइनली रिटर्न टू इट्स इनिशियल स्टेट द ओवरऑल प्रोसेस इज कॉल्ड ए साइकल और साइक्लिक प्रोसेस सो दिस ग्राफ इज ऑफ ए साइक्लिक प्रोसेस सी सपोज इनिशियली सब्सटन्स इज एट दिस स्टे इज at this state then it goes through this processes like isobaric isochoric adiabatic and comes again to the initial state so when a system in a given state goes through a number of different processes and finally returns to its initial state so the overall process is called a cyclic process now remember that for this cyclic process de is equal to zero that is change in internal energy de and dh that is change in enthalpy is also equal to zero so uh, this is all about the thermodynamic processes thank you